Welcome back to Nino Sport. This is episode 3 of Blackpool Youth to Glory Career Mode. First of all, I would like to say shout out to Set Play Gaming, man. Thank you so much for your support, my man. You've been very kind, you're very good. You're a type of a guy that I want to hang out with because you're really like a cool guy. And then shout out to Improve Gaming. You've always been there, my man. You, you never left my side. Shout out to New Game 13. Shout out to uh domica you've been good domica i hope you're doing well as well shout out to lerato lira for your support in the last episode i really appreciate it home girl um other than that uh, today we're gonna have a um, couple of games again and then you're just gonna see the highlights of those games i'm not gonna be commentating i would let the commentators do their job um, other than that, enjoy the highlights, guys. I will talk to you after the highlights. Thank you. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. Good defending. No problem in the air. Good vision here. Good deep cross towards the far post. They're looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. Now the possibility for a cross. Well, it is a chance to relieve some of the pressure here by simply having the ball. Chance to go at the opposition with the pace. One to chase down, it's gone over the defenders. Sweeping up field and scoring in style. Well, that is the perfect example of a modern day counter attack market. Wonderful. Gone into some traffic, but it could be dangerous here for the opposition. Jurgensen. They have scored. And they do lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match. We'll see. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. There we are. The final whistle is gone. And the game is over. And it has finished at 2 0. Well, then come ties. Winning is all that matters, and they have won. Yeah, they've done the necessary. I think they're just about. Perfect pitch on a perfect day in this stadium. Martin Tyler here, along with a great co commentator, Alan Smith. Our football today is cup football. It's a knockout round, so everything to play for. He's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? Going for goal! Close, difficult angle. Maybe did well to get that close. Oh, surprise. Dealt with the danger. John. It's good work here in terms of possession. Can they find the final pass? Goalless, possession fairly equal. Just need... Can put them in front here. Wonderful reflexes to make the save from close range for a tour. No time for an extra touch after the tackle. It's out of harm's way. Must take the lead here. Goalkeeper can only carry it out. Oh, that would have looked great if it had now. Oh, the ref's getting slaughtered by those fans who were convinced it should have been a pen. It's clipped in over the top. He's got a chance to cross. Defender did well to get to him, but has to really finish the job. He's given away. Surely he must score. He has scored. Well, a certain amount of relief, I think, from the players as well as the fans. A lot of times they come close. We had seemed to be stuck in a bit of a stalemate. And that's the end of the game, and it's 1-0. In the title race. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello, wherever you happen to be around the world, this is the scene here at the... Patience are not build up, can they carve out a chance? Can they take the lead here? Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. The bit. Opening up for them, and it might be, and it is the opening goal of the. Conference.
wasn't it? Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden one team ahead. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Nothing wrong with that idea. Terrific block there. Crossing possibilities. Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with this? Can he put it away? It's got to be! And it's gone in! Just what the doctor ordered. Things are looking very bright for them now with this buffer. An awful lot of green space to run into. Clear options in the middle. Can he take the chance? It really is such a free scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. Might be able to set up the chance. And in it goes! Comes. Competent goalkeeping. Yeah, right place at the right time for them. This is the setting for our featured match today. Welcome to you. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is alongside me as usual. It's FA Cup football we've got for you. It's Blackpool against Coventry City. Yeah, some teams are suited to knock out football, others aren't. Looking for teammates in the middle. It's an own goal! Got a field in there. Angle on it here. of the opposition there to make the interception. It might have been in there, but the interception was inspired. Here's the chance. How did he reach that? It stops the players chasing the referee. They now know that we've got parity back again with that equaliser. We've got a game on our hands here. Great movement in the box and a firm solid header here they are still probing away I think that's a good performance isn't it Alan from him in the first half I must admit Martin I didn't see that equaliser coming now for the lead it's in for them wow that, has, that was a surprise particularly to the opposition they were dominating the match but the team have made good use of a, a stray for his target and they're away with the ball
should be. Well, that could be the insurance goal here. That little bit of daylight that they're after. Well, they've had to put the money in the pockets. Uh, about 50 million quid, which... And he could get away here. He's in a goal. Well, now it looks like a question of just how many. They really are on top now, stretching the lead, looking like the real winners of this match. At the end of the game, the referee has called the halt. Everyone, the weather forecast has promised us a very pleasant day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position. Will he find the net? And in it goes! to the advanced position he's taken on his opponent here thunders clear Ronan with it spearing dangerous looking through ball it should be oh he's found the net and that increases the advantage to two just what they wanted and just what they deserved Hosts really haven't had too much of the ball, but when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. A great advert for low possession, counter-attacking football. It's really working. Television and the newspapers and on social media, Angel Correa has... Might be able to set up the chance. It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. Welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. See from his game. Well, Pate, hey, just look how fast he runs. Absolute nightmare for defenders to defend against when the player has that weapon. Will he finish? Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Delivering it into the box. And it is the opening goal contest well it was always going to be a tight game but now all of a sudden one team ahead things have got to change on both sides apologies to our viewers for cutting out and McAnally short there just a note the away side did score in that game and the lead as things stand is 2-0 giving it a try Grant not getting anxious when they have the ball and teammates to play it to and the defender takes care of business could be a chance to break here they've given it away The hosts have really controlled possession. After that, it's been a little bit disappointing. Creativity in midfield is a little bit off. Certainly a too slow in front of goal. Need to get wide, need to get crosses in the box. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution.
as anticipated plenty of talking points so far and now the second half is underway Moore maneuvering his way forward and they've won possession again oh they've got to tread carefully of avoiding any silly mistakes and short it is the goal seemed to be at his mercy but defenders don't will they be able to play it in behind the defence bad challenge and now it's up to the referee not what you want to be doing when you've already been cautioned Second book of the fence, two yellows equal one. Straight down the throat of the opposition. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Oh, surely. It must go in, surely. The goals keep going in for them. I don't think they're going to throw this away now. Absolutely omnipotent. Well, here it is. How do you like it? In an open goal, please. No goalkeeper, no defenders. Where were they all? Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Grant. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. What can he do from here? Individual quality coming to the fore. Oh, a vital interception. Just a couple of minutes left for play. Grant. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Three minutes of added time. Giving the ball away. And a very good challenge. That's it. The referee brings the action to an end. That brings us to an end of the highlights of episode three. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, man, smash that like and then smash that subscribe button if you're new in this channel um we're gonna look at our youth uh, squad but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna look at the youth academy offline most of the time but what I'm, i did already is to put some players on the uh, transfer list the old players like the phone so is gone i hope you realize that it's no longer in our starting 11 it's gone man i managed to sell him so other players are also in the transfer list i'm just not getting offers for them i don't know what's wrong but we all know the game is a glitch um when i get those offers they're all gonna leave uh my plan was that next season we start with the um, youth squad most of the players maybe 80 percent is the youth squad uh we're going to the championship it's not gonna be easy if we can be too negligent with it like take drastic decisions like we sell everyone everyone we might find ourselves in trouble maybe relegated back to league one so what i'm gonna do is to i'm still gonna keep your concern and i'm keeping grabbles those are my two strikers that i'm gonna keep i'm not gonna sell them i bought them they are teenagers they are young i just bought them to give me some strength in the team man because i cannot depend on your team only yeah, that's what's going to happen. But I have some promising youth players. Even though I'm not getting much in England, I don't know what's going on there. But other than that, that's the end of the episode 3. Thank you so much for the support. If you watched this far, you are an absolute legend. Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe. I love you all.
Bye, guys.